Symptoms of latent sora is very well described in chronic disease. But more so ever, what I want to draw your attention is that on the request of Dr. Bonnie Hussain, Dr. Hanneman was to give details of latent psychosis. But because of his old age and too busy with his practice, he didn't give it. So we know, whatever we know is only latent myosin. And learned physicians, so many senior people, if all work together and take up a task to explore this latent myosin, then tomorrow we will have more details to deal with such state. It may be self-limiting and persist in acute diseases. If acute disease is not too violent, it means it can limit itself. Otherwise, it can end to the death. Later, Sora returns to its normal state. So after, we know that acute disease is exploration of latent myosin. Please speak it as a definition. But we have not understood, we don't put into the practice. And we say all this stuff will remain only theoretical. If Organon is theoretical. If organon has not evolved from experience and experimentations of Dr. Hanneman, if organon has not undergone various different additions by corrections. So if organon is theoretical, this talk is totally theoretical. And if it is not treated homeopathically, there is a suppression. And acute conditions, day in and day out, nowadays the, the way we are getting explored to dengue and leptospirosis and various chicken wing and various conditions. So these are the things we have to understood. That we have to understand that symptoms may go away, but the state is sleeping and waiting that how it can become again chronic. Recurrence can activate latent sora into sora and may result into chronic state. Chronic state may be static for years together. Uh, vitiligo can remain at the one spot. For years together, psoriatic phase can remain at the one spot. But it is a chronic disease, it is a static. There may be natural remissions, autoimmune diseases. These conditions are known for its remission. And I may say, patient is better. Periodical acute exacerbation one sided or a complex state. Autoimmunity it can be acquired, it can be innate. Now, it, if it is acquired, this is from infections, trauma, or stress, and innate is embryogenic development itself, whereby it fails to recognize proteins, and so the tolerance to those proteins connected to the tolerance. And again, I say. The generation to generations of tolerance to our environment, to our relations are coming down. Our ancestors were more tolerant than today's generation. So this internal environment and external environment, I would focus that you please connect because as a homeopath, we understand that there is always interaction between host and the circumstance. Genetic coordination with autoimmunity has been observed that explains the role of predisposition aphorism number 5, fundamental cause. There is fundamental cause for developing autoimmune state. Predisposition provides soil on which unfavorable circumstances and power factors beyond one's capacity to adapt. Adaptation is most important. Till we adapt, I am balanced. Till I adapt, I am calm, I have some senses, but the moment I don't adapt, my adaptation is disturbed, I am imbalanced, I am at ease. So that is why we all must capacity to adapt. Everybody has a one particular level of adaptation and threshold to tolerate. Flourish disposition, that is tendencies in one's constitution. Factors that affect tolerance of constitution, making patient susceptible. Strengthening disposition. These dispositions are tendencies. So if tendencies are stronger, there are more chances that you fall sick. Epidemic fever or infectious acute disease. This can be 
whole system. That is why we say, oh, it is a conversion system, you must take care, care, you take rest. But patients today, in 21st century, they can afford to. External severe reasons, like shock, fall, wound, burns, etc. Confinement due to disease treated incorrectly, I never said, allopathically. And at the sedentary occupation in gloomy closed room. This is the situation in uh, metropolitan and uh, various cities where there were factories and people are working, they are working in a closed room in gloomy environment. Grief due to shared process of without the patients. And the one very important point is daily exercise and annoyance which embitter the life. Every day, I can't resolve my problems with you. And every day I come across you and there is always that embitterment is piling up, piling up, piling up. And what am I doing? I am returning my constitution. It is not that you are returning, I am returning because I am keeping those exercises. Deteriorated food and such other necessary needs. So such people can weaken our constitution. Cases of psoriasis. I don't know how to say it. I wish I can share about autoimmune disease also along with the same topic. But there is a small case. You are interested in, she consulted on 28th 7 last year, 35 years female, it was a love marriage, one son working in financial company as a finance management person and playing in Western suburb. Her uh, situation that she came to me with a severe power plant of psoriasis and it was very much inflamed with lots of cuts. Very painful and itchy, scales or painful, she was unable to walk and she was wearing uh, uh, store shoes and very carefully walking and she was informed by one of the uh, honorary physician and uh, she was in very bad state and whatever data was available, I just brief you in detail and then we go to the video, which we, I just uh, happened to take on 25th. There, is, there are lots, lots of exertions. Our partial behavior of mother-in-law, that uh, mother-in-law is discriminating between her and uh, her uh, nana, sister-in-law. She feels that she has been blamed, humiliated. Uh, there was a lady in her office, a mentor lady, who really helped her to come up in the uh, career in her office and uh, she left and we again joined. By that time, uh, this uh, patient was well established in the office. So after coming there, probably that lady felt a lot of uh, insecurity and her entire behavior changed and uh, this patient felt left out. She would talk, that lady would talk to everybody in the office but not with this patient. So a lot of humiliation and uh, left out. And, Another point, breach of trust was another issue which uh, that uh, husband had a lot of uh, uh, financial loss and this problem happened without knowledge of the patient and patient said that it was a long marriage, this very fine that uh, uh, husband did so much of the loss but he, he did not inform me and yet she took as a breach of trust that at least he should have, uh, he should have told me. And moreover, mother in law blamed her that husband uh, lost all the money on this patron. But even then, she continued her duties. Sensitive to blaming and backbiting, others suffering troubles, her feels like helping them. 